Okay, good morning class and welcome back to Math 9. Uh, today we're going to be going looking at uh, Lesson 7. Sorry, Lesson 9. Math 9, Lesson 9. Uh, we're still working with uh, our first unit of rational numbers. Uh, the last couple of lessons we went over multiplying and dividing rational numbers. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the order of operations. So this is our third lesson in set three. So when you look into your pickup box, uh, you'll be looking for set number three for your uh, video lesson and your assignment. So the order of the day, what we're going to be looking at is order of operations. This means which ones do I do first? Do I multiply first? Do I divide? Do I subtract? And what happens when I have brackets? So this is using the order of operations commonly known as bed mass. So here's the acronym, B-E-D-M-A-S, referred to as bed mass. What that means is that when we have multiple operations in math, we have to do what's in brackets first. So we have something like, say, a 2 plus 3, and then we have to subtract, say, a 2. We have to do what's in brackets first before we do anything else. The next thing is exponents. If we have something like 2 squared plus 3, we have to do the exponents before we do the next operation. So the second operation we have to do is 2 squared. Okay. The next one is dividing. We do dividing before we do multiplying. And we do multiplying before we do adding. And we do adding before subtracting. So subtracting is the last thing we do. And whatever's in brackets, we do first. So we got to look at some examples to see how we do this. So here we have an example where we have a minus 8, a negative 8 in brackets, minus 2 times 24 divided by negative 8 and this particular bracket here is squared. So one answer was minus 90 the other answer was minus 4. These two students so we got to know who's got the right answer. So we should be doing it to see which comes out right. Well, remember the first thing we do is in brackets. So if we have something like this 24 divided by 8 over here we have a minus 8, but there's nothing happening with the minus 8. It's all by itself, so we don't have to do anything here. But for the second, for the second bracket, here's the highlighter. Okay. That one has to be done first. So inside here we see that we have 24 divided by a negative 8. So that's the first operation we're going to do. So what happens when we divide 24 divided by negative 8? Well, 24 divided by a negative 8, that means 24 divided by negative 8, our answer is going to be 24 divided by 8 is 3. It's negative 3. So we can put that 3 now. Instead of 24 divided by negative 8, our answer is negative 3. So that takes care of that first set of brackets. This one here and this one here. Now we have the next thing. We have this negative 3, but we have to square it. Remember, we have brackets first. Then we have to do exponents. Big math. So that means we have to square this before we do any multiplying, before we do any subtracting. Square means you multiply by itself. So if I have minus 3 squared, that means it's minus 3 times minus 3. You're multiplying the number by itself. So 3 times 3 is 9, and a negative times a negative is a positive. So we have now 
minus 3 squared becomes plus 9. Now our next operation is to multiply. We have 2 times 9. So we've gone from brackets to exponents. We didn't have to, we did our dividing in the brackets already, so we don't have to worry about that. But now we have our multiplication. So we have 2 times 9. 2 times 9 is negative 18. Now we have one last thing to do. We have a negative 8 minus 18. So a negative and a negative. Subtracting means we're going to have minus 26. 18 and 8 is minus 26. So our answer is minus 26. So we are both wrong. We figured out the correct solution. Okay? When you look at your calculator, you might, if you're trying to find, say, what minus 3 squared is, either look for a button that says x squared or y to the x, depending on what you tell your calculator is set up. If you're looking for a cube, that means multiplying by itself three times. You look for x cubed, or you can use this one, x to the y. Sometimes they have this one here, depending what type of calculator you have. So here we have a whole bunch again. We get negative two thirds divided by one fourth, plus we have a half times a half times a negative one third. Well, what do we do first? Brackets. Remember, bed mass brackets. So is there anything that can be solved in brackets here? No. Here? No. Here? No. It's all by itself. Okay. Then we look. Are there any exponents? No, there's no exponents, so you don't have to worry about that. Is there division? Well, there is. There is this one that has to be divided by that. Negative two-thirds divided by one-quarter. So, if we have negative two-thirds divided by one-quarter, remember, we, have, we can flip it, right? So, if I take a dividing, means I can flip it to make it multiply. So now it becomes 4 over 1. Okay? That 1 over 4 becomes 4 over 1. When I flip it, I make it multiply. So minus 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 1 is 3. So we get an answer here of minus 8 over 3. When we multiply this by this, we get this. We get this. Now, we go to the next one. Well, we're supposed to add, but we have multiplying here. It means we have to do the multiplying first. Multiplying before we do adding. Because we do multiplying, then adding, and then subtracting. So we take one half times one half times one third. Well, remember, we can multiply everything on the top. One times one times one is, and this one is a negative, right? Negative, <laughs> negative, sorry, plus, plus, plus. This is a negative one right here. So we're, what we're doing is we're taking one half times a positive one half, right? One half times one half. So that means that is one over four. And then we're taking that and multiplying by a negative one third. That's negative. So one times one minus one because one is negative. And then four times three is twelve. So it's minus 1 over 12. Now we can do the last operation, which is adding. Minus 8 over 3 plus minus 1 over 12. Well, we need to get a common denominator now. So in order to do that, we have to change the 3 to a 12 or a common denominator between the two of them. Well, if I multiply these two together, we get a, the least common multiple, right? I'm going to have 3... We can do it with a butterfly. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Two, or 12 times 8 is minus 9 is 6. And if we go 3 times 12, we get 36. So now we look at the top here at our antenna. Minus 9 is 6 plus a minus 3. It's going to be a minus 99. And it's over 36. That's what we get here. And then we can divide this 
by this, and we're going to get 2, that's 36 times 2 is 72, and then what's left over? Well, 99 minus 77 is 27, 9 minus uh, 2 here, 72, like right, 8, 90, Okay, so we have 72, we had originally 99, minus 72, that gives us 27. So we have 27 over 36 left. Then we can reduce this. So we can divide this by 9, and this by 9, 27 divided by 9 is 3, and 36 divided by 9 is 4. So our answer is 2 and 1 fourth. You can also do the same thing with decimals. Remember order of operations. We have a minus 3.2 divided by a minus 0.9, and then we're going to divide it by minus 0.7 minus a minus 1.2, all in brackets squared. Well, the first thing we have to do is brackets. So what do we do in brackets first? Well, we have a 0 point, zero point 0.7, okay, minus a minus 1.2. A minus a minus becomes a plus. So that's 0 0.7 plus 1.2, which is going to be 1.9. So this becomes this, 1.9. Then we have to square it. So then we take our calculator, and that means it's going to be 1.9 squared. It will be 3.61. 1.9 times 1.9 equals 3.61. So there we got that answer here. Now, the next thing we have to do we finish our exponents. Do we have any multiplying? No. So then we go to the next one, which is dividing. Remember? So we go no multiplying. Or sorry, no dividing. We have to go to um, we did our exponents. Oh, here's a dividing. We have a 0 0.9 divided by 3.61. So we have to do our dividing next. So we divide put that in our calculator and we get an answer of 0 0.25. So that's where we put this right here. And it's a negative. So now we got the last operation. We take our minus 3.2 minus our 0 0.25 and our answer is minus 3.45. Because we have two negatives, we can add these two. 3.2, 0.25 becomes 3.45. Negative, negative is a negative. When we subtract negatives, they stay negative. When we multiply negatives, they become positive. All right, so there is another practice here. up. Here we have negative two-thirds divided by one over four plus bracket negative one-half bracket times one over three. Multiple operations. Look at the brackets. There's something we can do in brackets first. Well, this is all by itself, so we don't have to do anything. But here in this bracket, we have an addition. So we have to do it in brackets first. And here there's only one thing in the bracket. Nothing else we can do right now. So here we have to add these two. We have one-fourth plus a negative one-half. 
one fourth plus the negative one half. We need a common denominator. So let's take the lowest common multiple. We can use four times two if we want, eight. So one over four. That means we have to multiply this by two and this by two. That's going to be two over eight. And then we have a minus and changing that two to an eight. It's going to be two times four is eight plus two is two. Okay. So four, we have one half and one quarter. So two times four. cleaned up here. One times four is four, two times four is eight, so we have two minus four, and be minus two over eight. So this is where we get this minus two over eight, we put it into brackets. Now, next division, or next operation, we have here a multiplying one and we have a dividing. Well, we have to do dividing first. Remember, bed mass, Dividing comes before multiplying. So, in order to divide this, we're going to flip it. So we take a minus 2 over 3, and we're going to flip it, so that becomes multiplying, negative 8 over 2. So far, so good. And then we can multiply these two. 2 times 8, 16, and 3 times 2 going to be, what is it, 6, right? Okay. Then we can multiply with the last one, 1 third. Now remember, we had a negative here and a negative here, so now the negative, negative becomes a positive, and the 1 third is positive, so it stays positive, 16 times 1, 16. 6 times 3, 18. And then we reduce that. Divide this by 2, divide this by 2 to reduce it, and we get 8 over 9. Okay? So those are three good examples about how to uh, operate with multiple uh, operations using bed mass. So I'm going to give you uh, an assignment, uh, a duo tank page. You're going to do numbers 1 to 9, and then on page 140 from the textbook, number 3A and 3B. These are what they look like. Here is page 24, number 1 to 9 you're going to do. You don't have to do them all. It says 1 to 9. So you're going to be doing 1, 2, 3, And then page 140 is 3, I forget the number now, 3AB. So you go to number 3, and you're going to do A and B. And that's it. All right.